up guys DJ Mike James here listen up it's my first uh, gig log so be patient with me make sure you keep encourage me and help me with some likes comments and subscriptions um, make sure you check out my channel we are doing a sweet 16 birthday party here at our memory lane in Keys Illinois really nice nice venue it's uh, it's set up well it's it's reasonably priced it looks a little rustic on the outside but on the inside it's it looks really good so we'll check that out here in a minute we got some unload and setup videos that we went in and set up already all right guys so here we are we're all set up man we got a nice little screenshot of our disco ball and uh, the up lighting which uh, i'd like to give a shout out to uh, dj fire and the nathan 343 for helping me out with that uh and and these videos too so i want to make sure credit's given where credit is due uh, you're checking out my full setup here, and uh, it's actually pretty impressive. I mean, it looks it looks awesome. Our lasers, our our fog. Um, we've got. I, I love that DJ booth that we're using. I'm using that uh, Pro X, uh, that Mesa MK2. I've got different scrims for it. Also, we can set that up. Um, we use a wiring harness on my trussing system, which I'll do another video here in the future and, and let you guys give you some insight on how me and my brother ended up putting that together and man, it made our setup uh, just and our teardown that much quicker to not have to sort all that wiring and, and figure all of that out. Um, I do have a JVC TV up there, not a sponsor, but hey, if they want to hit me up, I'll, I'll, promote, I'll promote their products. But, uh, you know, the one thing I wish I would have gotten a bigger one, you know, with all the stuff that I have up there, I went with a 32 and I probably should have went with something closer to like a 40 or a 42 inch and just separated my lights out a little bit different. But uh, I think it looks really good the way that we do have it set. Uh, those U-King mover heads are super impressive. I'll do a video on them uh, at some point also and review those. Uh, those uh, ADJ StarTech, uh, StarTech 4-in-1, Boombox 2s, man, those things, I started out with those and, and, and I've kept them. I mean, they're, they're actually pretty impressive and, and I'll get a little bit more into those as well. Uh, the lasers are impressive, those spider lights. The line dancers look good. They're a little underpowered for a big room like that, you know, like that, that we're in, but uh, as far as some light coverage, you know, it only goes out maybe 20, 30 foot, you know, I mean, it could it could be better, but it is what it is. I've got plans possibly to upgrade to upgrade those lighting. And as you can see, I mean, we didn't have a real good turnout. There was, you know, some issues with, with COVID-19. I'm sure a lot of you guys are, are dealing with that as well. I'll get into my board and, and, and my laptop and, and, and the way that I run stuff and, and why I run it the way I do. Also, uh, the speakers that I use, are super impressive. I'm using PV, PVXP 850s, those are 15s, and they're matching 15s on top, the PVXPs. Uh, they're just really impressive. I've had really good luck with them. I mean, they're, they're road tested, and those things just, they just bump hard. So I'm super happy with, with that purchase. I do have another setup. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna know me from uh, Champs Bar and Grill here in Charleston. And, uh, you know, make sure you, you check out some of these videos. And if you are interested in, in possibly getting into DJing, like I said, I've mentored a, a, a few DJs, especially here locally, you know, and, uh, and, and, and you know, that's, that's kind of how this, this process works. We, you know, we, we, we learn from our mistakes, you know, from different equipment and, and things along those lines. But, uh, I mean, once you get something together that, that works for you, then, then you're, you're gonna be set to go. All right, so one last thing that I wanted to cover was uh, was the venue. Uh, Our Memory Lane, Terry Kepper, oh, these guys were amazing. I mean, they've, they, they've recently acquired this building, so if you're in the uh, Central Illinois, Western Indiana area, and you're looking for a venue, I mean, these guys are affordable, and they and they, and they really worked with the, you know, with the, the people that were throwing this party. I don't want to go into any of their names or anything, but uh, make sure you check them out because, uh, like I said, we try to help the people that help us, and and you know, not every venue is going to be uh, friendly as we as you'll find out as you DJ weddings and, and different events. But uh, hey, make sure you enjoy watching the load out here, and we're gonna go ahead and get on with that.
that's over. How did tonight go? Uh, it was long. How many people do you think was here? Uh, maybe 25, 30, 30 at peak. Yeah, there not was what, not what they expected, but we looked great. We sounded great. We did what we were supposed to do, and now we get to head home for the night and so, go do it all again tomorrow. And do it all again tomorrow. Uh, anything you want to say? Uh, no, check out my page. Uh, we'll be getting some videos up. Like I said, I'm just starting this gig log thing. I've been DJing quite a long time, so I'll have some uh, helpful hints and tips, and I'll review some of the equipment that I use and why I this use This is it. the guy that got me to DJ, so. And, and how I use it, and, uh, and hopefully you guys will show me some love and support, and, uh, hit that like, and subscribe, and comment. Comment, and share. And absolutely. And, uh, we'll catch you next time, tomorrow. Bye.